Hi Katie, love your podcast. I'm 65, previously fairly fit and healthy, but in the last 12 months have become riddled with osteoarthritis in my hands and fingers, wrists and neck. Let me think about a couple of things that you may not be doing. Is that when you've got a persistent health problem, it's because you are being led into deeper understanding. It's because the solution doesn't lie at the first level. Welcome to Own Your Health with me, Katie Brindle. We are right in the throes of the coffee break clinic at the moment. This is the moment in the afternoon of recording where everyone needs a coffee break, but um, I keep going. So, <laughs> so do please, before we get started, do rate and review this on Apple Podcasts and follow me on Spotify. And please do leave your comments if you're on TikTok, Instagram or YouTube. Um, leaving your comments and leaving your questions means you will be featured in the coffee break clinic. So do please do so, OK, because it will be helpful for us to help you. So in today's episode, Episode, we are going to be talking about various different health conditions, okay? And uh, the first one is hay fever. Tessa2683 has said she really loves my recommendations on hay fever. Yay! Um, and she says, do I have any suggestions for histamine intolerance? So just to say, anyone suffering from hay fever, which at time of, of producing this episode is rife, is that there is an entire fact sheet on hay fever on my website, which you can download for free. OK, so and it gives you real chapter and verse on it. But basically, histamine intolerance is just basically when the body is producing such high levels of histamine, you're just kind of like constantly... <laughs> and how it feels, the way I describe it, is it's a bit like your body really should be like a glass of water. But instead, your body has now become so toxic from stress and overwhelm and busy lives and kind of pollution in our food and just not good lifestyle habits that it starts to resemble more... a glass of coca-cola okay and then what happens is when the temperature goes up or when something which has got high histamine enters into the body whether that's pollen or nuts or any of the kind of like sort of processed foods like sort of bacon and sort of smoked things anything like that the body swell or mosquito bites is another one the body swells up and it just feels like you're permanently having to take kind of antihistamine even to keep yourself on an even keel now at this stage it's really really important to consider the three principles of health that I talk about all the time, okay? For a healthy body to be like a glass of water, okay, the body needs to have a free flow of energy, chi and blood. It needs to purge and nourish and you need to strengthen your five key organs. And if your body is more like a glass of Coca-Cola than a glass of water, it means that one or mo most likely all of those three things are not happening correctly. Because a body naturally, if it's in a good state, will be in, in balance with its histamine. So what's the first things that we need to do? Well, when the body is so overwhelmed with histamine, what you can't actually do at that stage is one of my favourite exercises, which is gua sha. Because gua sha is really, really good at getting sort of inflammation markers down in the body. But if the histamine is so high, that it's affecting the skin and that everything's kind of red and rashy and just kind of like and it's all just getting over the top you can't actually start aggravating that by doing gua sha on the body because it's going to actually create more of a reaction in the first place if you've got low level of histamine it's okay if the skin isn't rashing and swelling it's okay to do but if it is you can't do it. So what can you do? Well, this is where we have to strip things back. When the body is getting itself into a real state, when it's just completely overwhelmed and it's coming into acute symptoms, which are kind of like overwhelming the body, we've got to work with the really basic, simple. We've got to go back to basics. How do we get the can of Coca-Cola to look like a glass of water? Well, the good news is you can. Because water, the element of water, when you look at the generating cycle of energy, which is the, the rule of the law of nature and the law of your body, is breath. You see, breath ultimately nourishes the kidneys. And kidneys are the water element. So you can actually do a huge amount by lowering those histamine markers by controlling the breath. And the good thing about breath practices is they're free. So the simplest and easiest way to start this is I talk about this app a lot um, called Mindfulness Bell and I refer to them a lot. Um, there are other ones but I like that one, that's the one I use and for the grand old sum of £2 a year there's a really nice gong which I think James is about to play for us. It certainly looks like it. Oh, see, it's so nice. Yours for £2 a year ladies and gents. And what you do is you set that to chime every hour. And every hour, you'll be busy doing something, forgetting to breathe. You will be breathing, obviously, but it will just be unconscious as opposed to conscious. And that chime comes in and that chime gives you a moment to be conscious with your breath and your body. 
And at that stage, all you do is you slowly breathe in and you linger at the top of the breath to just give your body a few moments to just assimilate that breath. And then you breathe out and then you give your body a few moments at the bottom of that breath to assimilate the, the exit. And then you do it again. And in an ideal world, you do about four of those slow conscious breaths every hour. If you're suffering from really high histamine, I would ad advise you to do this more. You can also, in your house upstairs and in the shower in the morning, do what we call the dragon breath, where you breathe in and then you get your tongue right out and you go <sighs> like that and really expel the breath down the plug hole of your sink or your bath or your shower and really release because what you can do is you can really start to get rid of the stress and the inflammation in the body via the breath and via expelling it out via the breath and then drawing in good quality breath into the body. Now at this point it's really really important to have good quality air. It's something that we don't really think about she says. Goody old here with my plant behind me, you see, giving me a... But it's really, really important to have that symbiotic relationship with nature because we were designed as humans, basically, to live amongst the trees. That's what we did. We, we lived in trees, which is why we didn't worry about wearing SPF or worrying about quality of air because the trees would protect you from the sun and the rain and the elements and also give you great air quality. Now we're not really living like that. The air quality is often very poor. There are apps to give you air quality indicators so you can start to learn the truth about the quality of air. They're going to look at it right now. They're like, oh, what's the quality? It's probably quite good in this studio because we've got this gorgeous, great big plant sat next to me. So, um, but it's really important. So at that level, I recommend either bringing in loads of house plants into your office or work um, or house environment. And if you can't, an investment product, which I absolutely swear by, is called the Briv. B-R-I-I-V. It's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. It's a little bit pricey, but once you've got it, it's going to last. And you only need to change the filters every six months months and that's not expensive and it gives you the equivalent of 3,000 houseplants from one of those tiny little machines and the air quality is out of this world in my little flat in London which has dreadful air quality I've put one in the living room and one in the bedroom and that's basically the flat um, and the air quality in my flat is absolutely knockout and you can literally feel it as you go in and it's really important for getting those markers down in the body there is more if you look at the hay fever fact sheet there's more um, information about how to manage your histamine there is also a fantastic guy um, the app is called air now that's the one thank you James it's called air now and it's free So if you're feeling stressed or anxious or overwhelmed and life is basically getting on top of you, then I've got a really good little product. It's called Stay Calm by Dr. Vegan. This unique blend combines the natural power of adaptogenic botanicals like ashwagandha, KSM 66 and rhodiola, along with essential minerals. 81% of people who have tried Stay Calm report that it effectively helps them handle stress and anxiety, making them feel less overwhelmed and more in control. It's designed to help your body maintain a natural balance while boosting energy and focus. All you have to do is go to drvegan.com and you will receive 25% off your first order if you put in the code BRINDLE25. Right, Anonymous. Hi, Katie, love your podcast. I'm 65, previously fairly fit and healthy, but in the last 12 months have become riddled with osteoarthritis in my hands and fingers, wrists and neck. I'm doing everything diet-wise, supplements, homeopathy, acupuncture to heal. The pain has overwhelmed my life. I would so appreciate your help and advice. Um, Anonymous, that is so sad. Um, and I think I can help you here. I think what's going on here, on the basis that you're already doing diet, supplements, homeopathy, acupuncture... You're already doing all of that. Let me think about a couple of things that you may not be doing. It is, again, like your teeth, OK? It's really, really important with self-care that when you've got a persistent problem, and this is the same for everybody, it doesn't matter what the problem is. If you've tried everything and it's like, what that... And I know that. Oh, gosh, I mean, I'm sat here in front of you because I tried everything. And I had a career in uh, acupuncture with people coming to my clinic every single appointment going, I've got X, Y and Z. And my friend says, and uh, sorry, I've got X, Y and Z and I've tried everything. And my friend said, why don't you try acupuncture? I mean, literally, I had an entire clinic filled with people who didn't really understand what I was doing, but their friend had told them to try it because they were that desperate, OK? So the answer is, is that when you've got a persistent health problem, it's because you are being led into deeper understanding. It's because the solution doesn't lie at the first level, 
Okay, and it may not even like the second level or the third level. The problem that we've got in modern society is that natural healthcare has become quite sclerotic. Western healthcare has a system. You suffer, you go probably to your chemist, you try something over the counter, it doesn't work, you go to your GP. And it, assuming it works, by the way, you're, you're off the system. But assuming it doesn't work, you've gone to the counter, you've tried that, you've gone to the GP, you've tried that, the GP's now given you something else, you've tried that, then you go to a consultant, OK, and da 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 da, -da and down and down you go. Now, unfortunately, with natural health care, we don't have a system in place. Um, that is until I came along. Because with Own Your Health, there is a system. And the system is you have to understand that the body has got different layers. Your body is this incredible superstructure. You've got muscle tissue. You've got lymphatic fluids. You've got blood. You've got organs. You've got fascia. You've got energy. And that and those are the superstratas. By the time you get to energy, that's like Wi-Fi in the house. Okay, you can't see energy. You feel it, but you can't see it. And at that point, the, the solution is very fine frequency. So the thing is, acupuncture may well be really good, but if you're not adding in at the correct quantity the other things that need to be happening at the same time, sadly what's going to happen is you will go and see your acupuncturist and she or he may make a difference, but then the energy will dip in between the session because you're not maintaining. OK, so that you've got to do other things to kind of keep topping it up to create the balance, because if your balance is like if you've come in with your symptom and it's like this and your solution is only taking you this far, you've still got this bit to go. And that's the problem because you don't know what to do because there isn't a system in place. So the system is here. You're in the right place. So when you've already tried things, this is where you've got to start working with the home tools. Now, when you're dealing with something like osteoporosis, um, sorry, osteoarthritis, then what you've got to do is you've got to start gently because I don't know you. You're anonymous. So I, I can't look at what I'm looking at and I don't know the full. I haven't done a full case study on you. So I have to, first of all, say you must speak to your doctor, obviously. And then second of all, you've got to use your discernment with the techniques which I'm giving you. If it's really, really painful, then the first thing that you do is you start with the brush. I would even start with the face brush because this is the softest of the tools and it works at the most gentle possible frequency. And you just do little round and round the garden like a teddy bear movements, okay? Just round and round and then strong strokes gliding away. So we're going round and round. It must feel pleasurable. It must not hurt. If it hurts, you're going too hard. OK, so that's the first thing is that we start to use the brush because the brush will work on lymph and the brush will work to calm the inflammation and the brush will work with energy. And that's the first thing. If that's OK and you're going, oh, I can do that. That's all right. OK, that's the brush. Next, gua sha. Now, gua sha can be done on joints, but if the joints are too painful, then it can't. And I'm afraid you're going to have to just decide whether your joints are painful or not. So what we do is, with, this is the body gua sha tool, what you need to make sure is if it's on finger joints that you've got this lovely dip, this heart-shaped bit in the middle, okay? Because what you want to do is go gently over the joints and again start very, very slowly and gently. Don't rub really hard at the joints when they're hurting. Go slowly, go kindly, go gently. OK, use a really good quality body oil. I've got one or you can use turmeric oil, which is really, really good for joint inflammation. OK, turmeric in terms of intern inside the body and on the skin. It does make it go a bit yellow. But frankly, that's the least of your worries. Um, the, if you don't fancy the yellow, then use castor oil. Castor oil is really, really good at drawing heat and inflammation out of joints. So do the gua sha like this. Go super, super, super gently. As it feels pleasurable, you can increase the pressure and you can increase the kind of the work into the joints, okay? And then what I would recommend is the castor oil compress, okay? there's the, You can get mini ones and they're very, very good. Castor oil compressing is fantastic for joint pain, okay? All of that is going to help you. That's the next level along. Now, if that does the trick, then you've managed to sort it out. If it hasn't done the trick and you've still got a symptom, then we've got to work more deeply into the body. We've got to work into the organs. We've got to work with the purging and the nourishing. We've got to work at balancing the body more because it just means that you're still in balance. Maybe you started like this, which is me with my right hand a lot lower than my left, uh, for those of you listening. Um, and then in turn, my right hand is starting to go up and up and up. But until you reach that balancing point, you will still have a symptom. The symptom ultimately is a symptom of a root cause imbalance. And therefore, we've got to go deeper. And at this stage now, we have to start working with Qigong, with meditation, with stretching, possibly even with chanting. OK, you've got to go all the way through to the divine essence of the human when you ultimately, and this is where my body balanced, ultimately my body only balanced once I'd gone into spiritual practice. 
really, really, really committed daily spiritual practice, not just rocking up every now and then and doing it when I remembered, like literally 45 minutes of spiritual practice every single day without fail. And at that point, I balanced and not before. And until then, symptoms and suffering. Um, one last thing to say about this is when you've tried all of this as well, I would urge you to really look at fascia. OK, um, there is a very, very important thing about fascia and its connection tissue and how it orbits around the body. So um, I would suggest to start with you just listen to the advice I've given you so far. But once you've done that, um, I would start nosing around the Internet about what fascia does and why it works. OK, I will have a fact sheet on this very soon. Possibly by the time this has gone live, there will be a fascia fact sheet. And if there is one, we'll put it in the comments below for you to c connect over. Because managing fascia and managing energy is deeply connected and it's not really something that we've talked about much in the West so far. So I need to get that fact sheet finished for you. But um, just leave it to say to you that the advice I've given you is correct. Correct, and then all you've got to do is take it all the way through the body systems and eventually it balances. And you've always got me in your back pocket, so let me know how you get on and do email in again. OK, thank you guys so much for joining me on the Coffee Break Clinic. Do please write and review this on Apple Podcasts and follow on Spotify. Tell your friends, put your comments below and put the questions on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and listening.